You have to rewind probably back to 2017, 2018. This has been a boiling pot or a simmering pot that has just came to a boil. This is when Jeff Johns was working for DC Warner Brothers on the movie side of things as a producer. They were filming the Justice League that had Zack Snyder on it as, as the director at that point. Zack Snyder has to leave. Allegedly, behind the scenes, it was, it was said that Jeff Johns kind of forced him out at that point and brought Joss Whedon on. At this point, that Ray Fisher was saying that Joss Whedon was treating them all badly behind the scenes, specifically him, and it was racially motivated. Whether or not that's true, I mean, that's only they know that. But, I mean, that's basically the, the gist of it. He thinks Johns is a racist who wrote him out, brought Whedon in to write him out and cut him out of the majority of the Whedon cut of the Justice League. And that's where all this stems from. He was one of the least likable characters, the cyborg, I thought. Easily the, the, the least interesting. I mean, big deal. He can, he can break into the internet. What, what do they need that for? They have a god on their team. They have Batman. Well, Johns had told him at one point, they were pretty far into it, and, and Johns came up to him and he said, you know, you've only smiled twice in all your scenes. It's not good for this movie to come out and you portray this character as an angry black man. He should be more of a lighthearted Quasimodo have that kind of a quality to him and fisher took offense to it he didn't want to be told what his character was not by a white man no be more like a, a card like quasimodo is that <laughs> is, is that actually what was said that's, or is that yes. how he interpreted it well well that's that's fisher's side of it and that's john's job as a producer when the dailies come back to say hey stop playing this like a gangbanger he's pissed off and play it. Maybe think about doing the take like this. And he and he said a light, a, a light-hearted Quasimodo. He told this dude to be this dude. <laughs> yes, yes. But the he black does. version. Yeah. He told this dude. It's how cyborg <laughs> should have been played. Is actually is this racist? We need a ruling. Is it racist? I appreciate Jeff Johns. Bringing on a crisis team to try to explain away his discriminatory behavior. But his excuses are weak. If you believe fans expected Superman's grandfather to look like a young Henry Cable, why was he okay with Zod's not resembling Michael Shannon? Hmm. So does Zod have a mixed heritage? Yeah, apparently I just found this out last night, actually. I, I, I've never read anything about... Zod's grandparents in the comics. So apparently there was a TV show on sci-fi called Krypton, and they wrote in Zod's grandparents, and they made them black somehow. And he was he was pissed off, too, because he was written out of the a big part of the Joss Whedon cut. I mean, you and, and if you watch the Snyder cut, you saw how much more he was in that. He was basically the center of the stupid movie. Schemes and schemes.